and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to work on making a speed pickup in Unreal Engine 4. So the first thing we're going to do is right click in the content browser in the blueprints folder and we're going to create a new blueprint and we're going to select actor. So we're going to name that pickup. So we're going to double click to open the blueprint editor. Now we're in the graph, we're going to go to components we've no components added so we're going to add component search for a sphere and that will add that there so we'll call that collision and then we're going to add a mesh so we'll just minimize this for a second we'll go to the props folder I'm just going to use the material sphere for this ok so I'll bring this up left click close this Choose left click hold and drag and you're going to drop it here I'm just going to leave that as static mesh 1 so it swallowed the collision that we previously added so we're going to click the sphere press spacebar twice and then we're just going to scale it down how that is so I'm just going to hit save change that back to the move widget and then we're going to go to the graph so what we're going to do first is search for an event tick and we'll add that in then we will go to this drop down here we're going to select collision and then we're going to right click add event for collision under the collision folder it will begin an overlap then what we are going to add is a get actor location so right click get actor location we'll select this one here then we are going to add a local rotation so I'm going to drag out from here search for local rotation add that in so now that that's connected I'm going to add a emitter so what we're going to do is drag out from here search for emitter and we're going to spawn emitter at location so now that we have that in we can connect our return value into the location and that's connected there so I'm just going to maximize this so now we can see exactly what we're doing we're going to drag out from the other actor here and we are going to cast to character so add that in now from the as character section here we will search for the character movement and we are going to get character movement then we're going to add a set walk speed so we'll drag that out we're going to set we're just going to type in walk speed and you want to set the max walk speed so we're going to type in a value of 1500 here and that will speed us up nicely and then from there we'll drag out and destroy actor okay so what we need to do now is we need to connect our emitter into cast to character then we'll cast to character into set the walk speed and then destroy actor so what we're going to do is come back up here we're going to drag out from this and scroll down to the bottom and we're going to ok that doesn't work, we'll right click instead and scroll down to the bottom so we can select add timeline now we're going to call that blueprint um, what we're going to do then is connect our local rotation into the play and we'll change the y and the local rotation to 1 I'm just going to hit save. Now from the update on the timeline we'll drag out and we're going to add local offset. Now that's all of our coding done so we're going to hit compile and save. Now we need to add the movement so we'll 
double click on the blueprint which is the timeline and we're going to add a vector track we're going to call that movement now we're going to change the length to 1.5 now you can see that's shortened there so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit okay so what we want to do is lock the X and the Y so we're only putting in our keyframes on the Z axis so we're going to shift, hold the shift key, left click okay. just make sure everything is locked before you do this now. shift, left click and we're going to change the time to 0 and then we will change the value also to 0 and that's the first keyframe added then we're going to go to the 0.5 mark so we hold shift making sure that the X and the Y are locked and only Z is unlocked so here we will shift left click and we're going to change the values to both 0.5 So point five. Yep. Just go back. Okay, I'll just add the keyframe again and change the values to point five. And we'll change the value to point five also. So and I didn't lock the layers. So that's what's gonna happen if you don't lock the layers. making sure that the layers are locked, we'll try that again, Tor times the charm um, I'm gonna click here now when I change this it will bring it up to where I want it to be 0.5 ok so now we're gonna add the tower point at the 1 mark so shift click now the settings for this it will be 1 for the time and it's going to be minus 0.5 on the value so minus 0.5 and enter now you can see that's dropped down and we're going to add the final point which is at 150 so as close to as we can and click shift and left click so the time will be 1.5 and the value will then be 0 and the last thing we need to do is just click loop now that that's clicked we will compile and save and we're going to go back to the event graph and um, we now have the movement here so we'll connect the movement into the delta location hit compile and save so what we're going to do then is minimize this go to our blueprints folder and we're just going to save all ok so we're all good we'll drag the pickup in drag it up a bit not too much so I'm going to right click play from here and what should happen is when I walk into this floating orb here my speed will increase and it does now the only thing that we forgot to do there was add an explosion so we're going to go back into our pickup blueprint and we're going to go to emitter template and we're going to select explosion so compile and save right click play from here so now when we hit it we have an explosion and our speed increases thank you for watching this tutorial